what is up youtube fam welcome back to my channel charm wisdom my name is anna and i'm back up with another pick a card video for you guys and today's topics in regards to healing so what healing message do you need to hear today from the collective um i know i've been going through on my own ups and downs so you some of you guys might be going through the same thing and if you were wondering why it is that you might be going through certain things then you know this is a uh, pick a card for you so in front of me, we have three piles, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead and pick on the pile that calls, um, calls you, or you can ask yourself, higher self, spiritual guides, or whoever you believe in to um, guide you towards the pile that has messages for you today. All right, so then I will go ahead and see you guys in your pile. All right, so we pick pile one, and this is your reading. So what is your healing message for today? So let's see. What is pile one need to What is your healing message? So we have peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. So I feel like for, for pile one, I feel like your healing message is very simple. Is where you're in need of peace. And the reason why you're in need of peace is because you either are looking too much into the future or keep looking back into the past and getting stuck on the past because here we have you know the buffalo and then we have her looking into the past so some of you guys might be looking too much into the past and you're being called to let go of the need to rewrite you're letting you're being called to step into the vibration of peace to allow some clarity to come in into your life if you feel like you don't have the clarity in your life yeah because we have the spider spirit so something feels like you might feel stuck or you feel um you know you guys might be feeling like a, a victim or are be going through some issues of a victim mentality or you know might feel like you guys are stuck or feel like a prey you know how the whips always catches the prey for uh for the spiders to eat right so here it seems like you guys might be confused or what you're meant to weave or to manifest or to you know create in your life with this co-creation energy of the spider so i feel like a lot of you guys um once you guys let go of the things that you're trying to hold on to it's is when the clarity will come in for you guys yeah because we have take a leap of faith gra grasshopper spirit and it's in reverse so it's like you guys are not able to see the opportunity that is coming in for you guys or that is being manifested for you guys since since it is in reverse and you guys are going to be called to take a leap of faith however right now things might be seen like you don't know where this is going because again look at you guys are looking too much far into the past or maybe too much into the future that you cannot see that the opportunity that is opening up for you or this is maybe your call to action to to you know answer the call and create and co-create with the universe and do whatever that is you're being called to weep here yeah because we have the empress here so it's time to kind of brainstorm it's kind of time to step into your feminine energy until in, until i was gonna say oh, i forgot what word i was gonna say but i would say until so i feel like this is your time to gather your all your seeds in the basket until you get called to leap i feel like this is your time to gather and plan as you know the feminine energy is always about you know gathering information and in order to know how to proceed right so i feel like for you guys you guys are being called to take this time to wind down to take this time to take care of yourself to use this time to nurture your dreams and yourself and your garden because things are wanting to pour in. Things are about to be pouring in. Especially if your life might have been feeling stagnant. Or like nothing. Or much hasn't been happening in your life. Yeah. So we have angel of expression. Speak your truth and express yourself clearly. So I feel like. Especially I was looking at the number three. And number three comes with that um, expression energy. So you guys are being called to express yourself. But there's a need to be your authentic self. As this person is you know kind of. You know this angel is naked. And when I see um, this 
imagery, it automatically tells us to be our authentic selves. And it automatically tells us to detach from the mundane. It automatically tells us that we need to, we might be in the very vulnerable space. So this is a time to nurture ourselves and take our time and to, you know, take one step at a time, but definitely, you know, don't lose this call to action. Don't lose this opportunity to jump ship. Don't lose this opportunity to start something new. Yeah, because you guys have been stuck in this um, energy of procrastination, of, of healing, of releasing um, emotions, of um, doing even emotional healing, or maybe getting stuck in this boredness or stagnation energy of uh, nothing is really happening in my life. And I feel like this is soon soon leaving or it is in the process of leaving your life Wh where again and in, in a sense where it's going to bring that clarity that you need and that peace that you need and that peace of mind that you need or maybe even peace in your emotional being and having more of a balanced state in your emotions so that you can feel more confident more attuned more alive more you know rejuvenated more enthu enthusiasm you know having more of that clarity in your life yeah, because you are releasing a lot of pain. You're releasing a lot of energy right now. Reason why this could be a pause that is happening right now in your life. And with that grasshopper, you know, you might feel very small right now. Or it may feel like nobody's seeing you. It might feel like nobody can hear you. And, you know, and you're just in the, like, in the corner where they're like going cricket cricket you know like is anybody gonna hear me type of type of energy but again it's just that right now you're in a sense of a space of releasing i can release a ancient pain simply by feeling it and again if it's all about that emotional being yeah teaching and learning the universe has been putting you through some situation and where it takes it's been helping you learn a lot of situations in your life. Life right now is your teacher. So pay attention to the things that are happening in your life. Pay attention to the events and how things are unfolding. Pay attention to the um, people that are coming in to show you lessons or to, or to teach you something or to um, help you and help you to grow and flourish in a way that you never seen yourself but through that we could only go do it by releasing um a lot of ancient pain because there's again new beginnings for you there's a new beginning that is coming in the next few days for you but again right now you guys are learning to set yourself free or you guys are learning to be free in a sense of being whom you are and draw and paint the picture however you so please and I don't know if you noticed, but my I feel like I'm talking very slow. And even though I want to talk a little quick, because usually sometimes I talk very quick in this readings because I don't want to lose, you know, any information that I'm I'm channeling and stuff like that. And but with you guys, it's like I'm speaking very slowly. And even though I want to pick up the pace, it's like I I get this energy that is just kind of um, washes over me to kind of slow down and just to kind of. You know it's kind of like sloth energy here that i'm picking up so some of you guys might be feeling that energy and again what well, you guys want to pick up or um rush through things or make things happen right now but maybe things are happening where it's just like it maybe a wave is coming in too and it's kind of knocking you down or in a sense it's it's the wave is kind of pushing you to slow down but it might feel like it's trying to knock you down or it's working against you well and orca elders share your song frequency of song diving deep yeah i feel like and it's and it's funny because i'm talking about water here but with this well and orca card what i'm feeling here is like don't be afraid to follow your own song don't be afraid to sing your own song don't be afraid to create your own song meaning don't be afraid to use your co-creation power okay don't be afraid to di um, dive into things that you call you don't feel don't feel guilty of leaving things behind or leaving the mundane behind in order to start something that resonates with you or to indulge and experience something that it resonates with you and it's just calling you and pulling you to do so okay i feel like a lot of you guys with this frequency energy and this um energy of sound it's giving me it's giving me like energy of of like you having a powerful voice okay i having a powerful vibration but it, it needed to be able to tap into it and remembering who you are okay 
yeah because things are just unfolding for you remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness and it's funny how this this card says take one step at a time because if this is the energy that i'm feeling with you guys is just taking one step at a time okay because things are starting to unfold for you and we have a lot of um yellow energy here so there's a lot of solar plexus energy and again i feel like you guys are going through this energy of finding your will finding your power um you know finding the common sense of life um allowing things to unfold um having your purpose unfold in front of you because again a lot of you guys might be feeling like you know the sense of boredom or procrastination is like i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing i don't know where i belong i don't know you know what am i doing with my life or what i'm supposed to be doing in my life you know what i'm saying it's like that type of energy but i feel like that this is kind of unfolding and the clarity is coming in and where you're gonna have that peace of mind in order for you to know um the next step in your life or the right step because we're not always going to know the whole picture but as long as we know the next step well that's all we need to know to be on the right track here okay yeah so surrender your negative thinking because you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations and i feel like um again with that let go of the need to be right and having that peace of mind because you, your thoughts can be kind of um kind of um toxic or overwhelming in a sense where it's overriding you and your faith so there's there's this is why the need to take one step at a time and the need to kind of step into your your temple or to yourself and letting you know letting the need to be right meaning by letting go of the negative thoughts letting go of the thoughts like well, what if this happens what if that happens why isn't this happening you know again why isn't anybody paying attention to me why isn't anybody recognizing my hard work and effort but then this is all in order to build your self-confidence this is all to to build your will and your power and your courage okay because this is that's how we get tested in life so the last card here we have contract so there's definitely more balance coming in for you guys but with the contract i feel like you guys are also working through closing out um soul contracts um lessons karma um in your life so this is again you guys are finally closing the book in order to start a new book or meaning starting a new chapter starting a new beginning in your life because again you guys have been blinded to this um to the things that you've been working through and have been seeing it through um through the eyes of victimization instead of looking at it through the eyes of faith and knowing that okay um this is teaching me something right how this is where we're looking at the card this is teaching me something and i'm needing to learn something from this so why and her eyes are are uh, blinded because and the you need to trust you need to trust that the lessons and that that's happening in your life it's for your greatest and highest good and it's not for for um you know it's not happening to you it's not happening to destroy you it's not happening because you don't deserve it it's because you need to believe that you deserve it force first and i was gonna say force and so so that way you guys don't feel like you have to be forcing things or things don't have to feel forceful in your life so i feel like this you guys are notice uh realizing and noticing and becoming more aware of this and where you you know what this is fit is feeling forceful so you know what i'm gonna pull back because that's literally what you guys need to be doing is pulling back for anything that feels forceful in your life right now okay so again so if anything is, is feeling forceful in your life this is your your call to step back and just just kind of surrender everything to the divine and take this time to um receive the clarity that you need and the only way to receive the clarity is by stepping into the sense of stillness by stepping into the sense of your purpose and your happiness and indulging in the things that you can do right now to to bring that sense of enthusiasm in your life okay so i hope this rest and i hope this helped let me know what you guys think don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time all right, pile two, so we pick pile two, and then this is your reading. So what is it that you need to know? What is your healing message from spirit? So let's see. So we have, there is always a solution of the highest good. And it's funny because I'm just, I keep hearing calm down, calm down. So I don't know if you're going um i'm hearing a hysteria so i don't know if there's any um situation that is making you to maybe overreact or um be in hysteria or feeling like you're in hysteria um but there's just energy of needing to calm 
down and then you're getting the first card is there is always a solution of the highest good so whatever problem or bump on the road that you have come across you know know that there is a solution of the highest good always and okay so there's no reason to kind of think that it's the end of the world because it's not okay it's not there's always a solution and there's always a way out so once you calm down you're going to be able to realize that or see that yeah because i feel like you are guys are feeling a lot of fear right now so ma major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar so we have the king of cups and we have the chariot okay I feel like there's a need to balance our energies and I feel like if you are watching this right now right now we are in Gemini season but we will be entering cancer season soon and we have that water energy here and that cancer energy here so I feel like there's a lot of I feel like cancer season might be a little hard for you to navigate the waves because you guys are gonna be feeling unbalanced in your emotions and I feel like you guys are gonna be working through either through a lot of fear or working through a lot of high emotions okay meaning when I say high tide emotions it just means that you know you could be working through a lot of um where you're just kind of too sensitive in a in a sense okay so um don't over don't um i don't want to say overreact because that's not uh, i don't want to ga gaslight your guys's emotions but it's like don't feel overpowered by your emotions when a situation doesn't go your way okay because this is only showing you how your cup could be easily tipped or maybe this is showing you how you need to have more balance of your emotions or you know it just kind of showing you um to see the gray area to, to not see things as black and white or as good or bad or you know uh this is happening because x y and z but see things in the middle saying okay this needs to happen because you know i need to work through my fear or this is happening because it needs to fall away and it no longer resonates with me this is happening because you know i need to find more 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 stability more foundation in my life so kind of looking at you know things from a higher perspective okay to see the resolution of anything that you guys might be um working through at the time or be will be coming into okay because i don't know i'm just picking up a lot of cancer energy here or you yourself might be a cancer or water sign yes we have be fearless and be fearless and bold badger spirit so yeah okay let me pull more cards because i just let me see domestic harmony yes there's a need to bring more harmony more stability more emotional stability okay because i feel like you guys are right now working through a lot of fears okay but i feel like if you guys work through this and find the balance or find the middle ground in this situation or in this phase of your life you're going to advance more in your spiritual evolution okay i feel like some of you guys are going to be going through a spiritual awakening as well so we have work yeah, I feel like there's some work that you guys are going to be doing. Some healing work. Some spiritual work. And if not, I feel like for others, this is the fear that is rising up is in regards to your career and your work and not knowing what to do or maybe feeling a little lost or maybe feeling like you need you know that you need to leave this behind and start your own passion or start start your own um, blessings, start your own desires, start your own dreams and wishes here. But I feel like you guys are afraid of starting the journey. attachment okay there's an attachment here see beyond the current situation yeah something here is being this like i don't want to say deceit but it's like it's either you're deceiving yourself or the situation or aspects of your life is deceiving you 
because it's you're attached to something and you're not seeing this and i feel like once you see this you're going to be able to move beyond that limitation or beyond that fear because it's funny how it says right here this is your chance to soar this is your chance to start that job this is your chance to um start that healing this is your chance to move this is your chance to leave that relationship behind this is whatever this is this is your chance to do it okay but you're not seeing this because you're you're looking at it like i don't know i'm trying to fit into this perspective i'm trying to fit into this identity i'm trying to fit into this persona but it doesn't fit it's not working why is it not working it's because you have this attachment to this to this vision or to this reality or to this illusion and once you let go of this illusion you're going to be able to move on forward okay things will start start to pick up angel of soul love time to look at how you value yourself issues of self-love okay yeah i feel like you guys don't want to let go of something because you guys are feeling like mm, are feeling like you can't let go of this or of that because of this attachment of this energetic cord that you guys have grown yeah set healthy boundaries surrender to the magic of who you are identity wow it's funny how i was talking about that wow okay yeah, I feel like some of you guys are going to an um, going through an identity crisis, or some of you guys are letting go of the ego. Um, I feel like you guys are working in finding your authentic self, but this is also feels like you know with that wolf, with that cry wolf energy, or that you know the 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 wolf and sheep clothes type of thing so again once you guys let go of the mask and i feel like some of you guys are working through the mask and maybe trying to step into your more unauthentic self but in this situation you're needing to kind of set more of a healthy um, boundaries in your life because right now a lot of things are happening are wanting to fall apart or fall away in order for you to step into the um to your real willpower to step into your true authentic self to step into who you're really meant to be in your life or to step into who you're really meant to be with or be in a situation if it makes sense here okay but i feel like a lot of you guys are afraid to let go of something it's either a person a place or a thing for some of you guys it is in regards to love it's in regards to a marriage for for other of you guys in regards to an emotional attachment here that we have grown here um whether it be to a job to a career to something because you're like oh i, I feel like i can't let go of this because you know I've, I've grown attachment or i've been here so long but i feel like there's need to kind of come out of your comfort zone here okay and the last card here is my will to thy will micromanaging the universe you know again it's all about your will finding your will and your power because you guys are are in a space of finding your power and when you find your when you find your power it comes with a lot of responsibility and this is what i, I always like to tell people yes when you find your power and you know that you have power it comes with a lot of responsibility and this is why because once you know that you have power you know that things are taking away your power therefore you have the responsibility or you need to have the responsibility within yourself to be like you know what this is not for me i need to let go of it you know what because i have the power to say no i have the power to set boundaries i have the power to use it and utilize it for my best for for my best being and for my best of, of heart and however you want to put it okay i feel like a lot of you guys need to speak your truth and need to get a lot of things off your chest here um i feel like you guys need to stop being so blinded by um by people's um cramps i feel like a lot of you guys need to start being so um let, stop being buttered up by people um who just want to use you or or leave you feeling depleted and used and it's because you know you're always trying to uh, please everyone and, and or trying to be you know the nice person but it's like no you we need to find a balance within this okay find our power find our middle ground like yes the king of cups is very giving and nurturing but it, the king of cups also knows, knows when to say no the king of cups also knows when to set boundaries and be like that is not for me i know i don't i don't i don't consent to this no no and no so to practice saying no okay so i feel like this is what you guys are kind of going through this is the healing energy you guys are working through right now let me know if this resonates um let me know if you have any um if it resonates and um don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time
All right, pile three, last pile. So what is your healing message? What healing message do you need to hear right now from the universe? So let's see. Healing message, pile three. Healing message. Dissolve uh, all boundaries with love. And with you guys, like the energy that I was about to say to you before the car came out, I was about to say, like, don't be afraid to play around with things, okay? Don't be afraid to move things around. Don't be afraid to kind of be spontaneous and adventurous, in, um, you know, every now and then. Like, don't be afraid to leave things behind and to start anew. Don't be afraid to, you know, um, leave this identity behind and be totally something different. Don't be afraid to move, you know, from your comfort zone. It's like, don't be afraid, okay? And this is where it's, it comes with that message is dissolve all boundaries with love okay because i feel like um you guys have been limiting yourself for a very long time and it's tough to stop doing that god is of knowledge start to sorry for that um commotion outside anyways um goddess of knowledge start to apply what you already know trust your intuition so again trust your intuition and it's like and it's funny that the car passed by because it's just like things are getting kind of loud or things are very loud right now meaning where uh, people's opinions might be very loud and people who have something to say might be very loud right now um you know the universe might be very loud with their messages you know they've been sending your way and it's like you hold the key here okay so and that key is that knowledge is the things that you have learned is just the things that you already know okay so you already know something here okay so don't be afraid to use that you know that pokemon ball or don't be afraid to um to use that key okay don't be afraid to use your power of intuition yeah There's just a situation here that we need to leave behind, okay? Because this this is something you already know, okay? With this uh, Seven of Swords, this is energy of I already know, okay? So, and then we have lose your grip, coping mechanism, density, addiction, let God in, and it's in reverse. So again, it's, it's like you need to loosen your grip in life. Or lose your grip on whatever this is because I feel like this is something you already know what is this about let's see so we have the Queen of Wands okay fantasy yeah and I, I was about to say like this is something that you've been saying <laughs> this is something that you've been saying oh you know um, by next year i'm gonna be having my own house by next year i'm gonna be my business owner by next by next year i'm gonna be doing this i'm gonna be doing that but it's like okay you've been all, all talk but no 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 work okay where's the work here and you know this is you know it's not just a fantasy and then with this ant energy here it's like okay it's time to get building it's time to get creative it's time to start building those dreams it starts to start building those thoughts it's time to start acting on those you know me intuitive message and the signs that you are beginning because you can be your own boss you can be a person in power in your life but it's like you're choosing not to let god in and when it says let god in it's like you know let god in by allowing yourself to co-create and instead of hiding or looking for coping mechanisms that's going to keep you in the same place and this keeping you stuck but it's like no you already know what you need to be doing you already know what um how i'm i, I was going to say exposed i don't know why spirit is saying exposed or exposing um i resonate with um some of you guys but i feel like you know spirit has been showing you something and it's either like a a, a perspective uh a, a dream a desire or something here okay it's just like they're showing you like this is, could be this could be yours but it's like what are we doing about it yeah so make the effort make the effort use your intuition and feminine energy keeps coming out for you guys so you guys can be seeing a lot of 13 energy um a lot of um intuitive um energy a lot of eyes um a lot of ants sunflowers but any either or there's a lot of um, yellow energy here and it's funny because i think pile two two had a lot of yellow energy but anyways you know make the effort make, um, start creating that motion in the ocean don't let your fears keep you stuck okay don't let your don't stop playing it small 
I don't know who this is for, but stop playing it small. Just because the ant, you know, is um, is small, but it still it still gets dirty. It still knows. It still works with its community. It still works with the other ants. It still works with this, you know, colony or whatever you want to call it. They still work together to get things popping and moving, and they do it in such a quick time sometimes. So make that effort, okay? Yeah, clear out the clutter. Clear out the clutter. It's funny how they're both holding something, like a pearl, like a globe. What is this? So you guys have ended something, okay? Something was exposed, something was revealed to you, whatever this is, okay? And I feel like it's time for you to kind of make the effort and do it, okay? Um, you guys have been clearing out the clutter. Spirit is letting you know, hey, we have been clearing it out for you. You know, we've been trying to do everything for you. We, You know, the, the road is clear. Now it's time to get things on and popping. Man holding a coin. Up, surrender obsessive thinking. Autumn, release the old and rest. Yeah, so it's time to kind of let go of the negative thinking. And it's time to step into your masculine energy and start creating, okay? It's time... It, nothing here is forbidden something here feels forbidden for you guys but know that um you guys have the capacity to create or to build whatever this is but i feel like this is i feel like this is going to be feel like a lonely road or you guys feel like you guys are not doing it um alone or have to be doing it alone and it's like yes sometimes this paths do start off very very lonely and even me to this day i've been doing this for five years i still sometimes feel very lonely on this path i feel like sometimes like i feel misunderstood so again you know just so um like clear out the clutter which is your obsessive thinking and start you know creating let go of the procrastination here okay because you guys have released so much that it's time to kind of replace replace the things that you had guys have been releasing okay i feel like autumn is going to be very prominent for you guys and where you've been called hey you know what start doing whatever that is you need to be doing right now because autumn is going to be very prosperous for you autumn is going to be the time where you're going to be reaping a lot of these rewards if you start you know using your coins planting those seeds because yeah focus intention think about what you desire set your your sights high expect the best possible outcome we have serenity you guys are about to step into a very magical energy very magical space in your life and where things are going to be very much clear and where things are going to be very easy easily accessible whether it be um manifestation energy whether it be money whether it be friendships whether it be it's just what things are going to be very much very uh, easy and uh, accessible for you and reason why you're being called to let go of the obsessive thinking focus your on on what you desire and stick to that right now because it's going to bring in a lot of money for you here okay but don't be afraid to let go of the um toxic tendencies or the toxic thinking or the toxic um things that kind of get in the way and prevent you from obtaining your desires okay always expect the best out, uh, possible outcome but again i feel like you guys are stepping into this space of magician but it's like you guys need to stop playing it safe you guys need to stop um playing with your guys's dreams because you guys are about to step into this very magical energy that are just going to feel like serenity and it's going to feel like nothing nothing it's you're gonna feel like you're unstoppable in a sense okay just how right here things have cleared out and the path is clear for you because the you know you have a clean canvas so create 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 and create and create nothing is a fantasy for you nothing is out of reach for you right now and i feel like you guys just need to kind of um dissolve those boundaries with love and go after what you desire and what you love and loosen your grip like stop trying to force things or tr stop trying to um you know have control of everything you just go for it and if you want to start a business then just do it don't worry about it we're gonna get the money don't worry about this if you want to go to school then go for it go sign up don't worry about how, where the money's gonna come up with don't worry about who's gonna take care of your kids like don't worry about none of that so loosen your grip allow spirit to come in and assist you allow your community to come in and assist you because again those ants it's all about community and allowing other people to help you build here, okay? So release the fear of, you know, people trying to do you dirty or release that fear, okay? And don't let that clutter up your blessings. So I hope this resonates. I hope this 
help let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time